Oke, okay, uh, virtual box. This is my IP of Sans virtual machine. And look at the settings on network. I have two adapters. The adapter one use it for the one interface, the connection to internet. And adapter two is the LAN interface connected to the hosts. Um, the adapter one, um, in my case, is a British adapter, but can be any type. Okay, the the same case with adapter two can be can be any. Okay, to use on GNS3, change the adapter to generic driver, then adapter 2 also on generic driver. Okay, and okay, and on adapter 1, and advanced options, make sure that the cable is connected. Also on adapter to advanced options cable connected. Okay. And close uh, virtual box. Open GNS three. Okay, um, okay. Uh, browse and devices. Um, add a new appliance template. Virtual box, virtual machine. Okay, um, the only option is uh, to run this virtual box virtual machine on my local computer next uh, select the p of sans virtual machine um, finish okay here is and um, okay and down here and uh, Edit the P of Sans virtual machine. Okay, and on network tab, two adapters, and sell and check allow GNS3 to use any configured virtual box adapter. Okay, that is enough. And Okay. Apply. Okay. Okay. Uh, create a new project. And devices. Drag the virtual machine. Okay, but for test purposes, I will add a desktop virtual machine on the LAN interface. And a router on the WAN interface. In my case, the first interface is the equivalent to adapter one on virtual box so will be the one interface uh, 
And the second interface is the LAN interface. Okay. Start all devices. Okay, uh, nothing is perfect. Okay, the DNS resolver on PFSense may take a while. Okay. And look at here the the one interface is called EM0 and has this IP address. And the LAN interface is called EM1 with this IP address. Okay. The DHCP server is already uh, configured on the PFSense on LAN interface. Only configure the desktop host with the DHCP. Okay, yes. Okay, success. Okay, the HCP client. Okay, you can ping the the full gateway PFSense LAN interface, and you will be able to configure the the device. Okay, the first time will take a while. Okay, look at the the log uh, login successful. Okay, now you can configure the interfaces. Okay, the one interface, the long interface. But also, you can do it on the command line. 
you can use the option 2 to set the IP addresses on interfaces or use the web configurator ok obviously you can configure the one device um, with an IP address ok, uh, thank you very much